Good morning, Dream Team. Welcome to Home Body Weight Workout number 1110. Today is Friday the 13th. 13 is my lucky number. Friday the 13th is always a really lucky day for me, so I hope it's lucky for you too. Something about the number 13, um, yeah, always seems to give me lots of good luck and gives me really good, fun days. So yeah, really hope it's the same for you guys. All right, let's get moving and grooving. Fridays we go a little bit harder because we're setting ourselves up for the weekend. We are doing the do. Uh, I need to get my iPad, which has disappeared. Okay. Got it back. Whenever the kids play with the iPad, it moves. It disappears to a different part of the apartment. So, all right. We're on track. Let's get moving. So we've got jumping jacks, skaters, plank builds, Spider-Man push-ups, half burpees, cross-body mountain climbers, abs, bicycles, flutter kicks and crossovers, leg raises and child pose. So again, working that core, a little bit of upper body, getting the blood pumping, all that good stuff. Half burpees are gonna be interesting today. Let's see how we go with those. But feeling good. All right guys, jumping jacks. Three, two, one. On the spot. Shaking it all out. We want to become proficient at showing up and moving our bodies. And we want to get so good at this stuff that it's almost boring. That's where we're going. Boring and mundane is mastery. 30 seconds. Well done, everyone. Getting it all working, especially for our upper body, our shoulders and neck. Well done, team. Good stuff. From jumping jacks, we're going skaters, so we're strengthening up our lower extremities, especially our ankles and our feet. Jumping side to side, getting a little bit of balance as well. Bend your knees slightly each side, waking up our quads. This one in particular looks like a complete waste of time, <laughs> but I can promise you if you're a runner or a walker or a hiker or just someone with two legs, and this one is super important. For me as a long distance runner, I try to strengthen up the bits of tissue that support my lower extremities, support my joints. And having strong feet, strong ankles, strong Achilles, strong calves is a really important part of that movement. It's great to beat runners that are faster than you just by being stronger in those areas, by training that soft tissue. Plank builds next, down on your mat, alternating elbows and hands in a plank position. So we're going left elbow, left hand, right elbow, right hand. Left elbow, left hand, Right elbow, right hand. Using those core muscles to stabilize us, as well as our shoulders and upper body, as we alternate elbows and hands. 
switching on your legs, use your glutes. We want a bit of rocking from side to side to really get that core working. Remember Friday is meant to be a little bit harder. So embrace that difficulty. All right, from plank builds, we're going Spider-Man push-ups. So we're taking our knees out to the side as we lower ourselves in the push-up position. Spread your fingertips, support your wrists. And we're going down, knee out to the side. Well done, everyone. Keep it going. <clears throat> Strong but relaxed. Trusting the process. Make sure your chest is touching the mat. Proper push-ups. With a full range of motion. Grateful for our strength. Grateful for our fitness. <coughs> and the opportunity to improve each week. <coughs> well done team. Good Spider-Man push-up. I hope that's pumped you up. Half burpees next. We just keep doing these until we become more proficient. So pace yourself through. Fingertips pressing down. be challenging. Cross body mountain climbers next. So fingertips pressing down, getting your opposite knee to elbow, cross your body. seconds. Make sure your elbow touching, your knee is touching your elbow or your forearm. Well done team, goodness me, it's got me today. <laughs> Abs, bicycles next. So, hands on your temple, opposite elbow to knee, cross your body. Make sure your elbow is touching your knee. All the way, dream team. Pace yourself through.
that's a good one today. Really feeling that. <sighs> Flow kick some crossovers next. So hands in fists, one under your bum cheek, up on your elbows, looking at your toes. Flutter kicks out in front of you, keeping your legs as straight as you can, working those deep core muscles. Use it or lose it. It's as simple as that, peeps. I think those half burpees really got me today. Crossing over. Right over left, left over right. So good to be taxed and actually so good to foul. One of the things we're doing in these workouts is killing our ego. It's not pretty and it's not meant to be. And actually, you're going to have workouts where it's more about your head than it is about your fitness. So killing that ego, getting rid of that part of ourselves that wants to be perfect is a really good thing. Leg raises next, hands in fists, one under each bum cheek, heels tapping the ground and just lifting your feet with your legs straight just off the ground, trying to activate our transverse muscles of our core, so the muscles below your belly button. Deep core muscles. <clears throat> you can't see them, not necessarily visible when you take your shirt off, but those deep core transverse muscles really help us throughout the day especially if you're swimming, cycling or running, walking, hiking. We need that deep core. Okay, here we are, Dream Team. The last minute of our Friday workout, last minute of all our workouts this week. Big toes together, knees nice and wide. Sitting on our heels, reaching up and melting forward to find some stillness and some peace. Awesome, I really enjoyed that one. It's so good to be taxed and to push ourselves. It's great to succeed and to find effortlessness in our workouts, but also so good to, to have a proper workout and just build ourselves up and see ourselves conquering really challenging exercises. A half burpees for me is toning everything up and feel that strength coming back. I can see that as well, which is really lovely. But also, it's just building that resilience again and getting back into that place of, you know, doing this stuff with absolute ease. Friday's always a tough workout, so it's meant to be challenging. It's meant to challenge our head as much as it challenges our muscles and our brain is an important muscle and all this stuff. Have a great Friday, guys. Well done, terrific Thomas. Excellent stuff, mate. Love your consistency, Thomas. Really, really good. Fist bump for you, mate. Have a great Friday, guys. Back around Monday for the next one. Keep moving and grooving. Keep step counts nice and high. I'm running a marathon on Sunday, so I might be a bit tired on Monday, so bear with me. Take care.